think again about the structure of DNA and how it might carry instructions. A single chain that simply repeats one symbol would carry no useful information. But a chain made up of different symbols can encode information. Information needs difference. In fact, life's genetic instructions are spelled out in combinations of the letters A, G, C and T, the four bases of the DNA molecule. In effect, one particular sequence of bases containing one particular piece of information is one gene. Genes code for proteins. Each specific gene codes for a specific polypeptide within a protein. Now, proteins are extremely important in living organisms. Some proteins are structural. Others, for example, are enzymes. A typical gene is about a thousand base pairs or so. Now, that may seem rather a lot, but there's plenty to spare in DNA. You see, this model actually represents a very, very small section of a real DNA molecule. Real DNA molecules would be many, many times longer than this. They're the largest molecules known by far. In fact, a single human DNA molecule on this sort of scale would be thousands and thousands of miles long. And if you consider the 23 different molecules of DNA in a human haploid cell, and add all the base pairs together, you come out with a figure around about 3 billion, that's 3,000 million, base pairs. Now, frankly, numbers like that don't mean very much to me. So how can we put numbers of that sort into some sort of perspective? Take a telephone directory, and imagine the whole thing is composed of a very tiny print and that each letter and each digit corresponds to a base pair. Well, to get three billion, you'd need a couple of hundred or so different directories. Now, in any particular type of cell, not all the genes in the DNA are being used. Essentially, some genes are switched on and some are switched off. Well, what does that imply? Imagine you've got an instruction manual and you want to use just some instructions at a particular time in a particular place without lugging the whole manual around. Now, how could you do that? Well, one way is to choose the instruction you need, tear it out, use them, discard them. But if this is DNA, the cell can't do things that way because the DNA will be damaged. And sooner or later, all of the DNA has to be copied and the copies passed on to future generations of cells. So that can't be the way things happen. OK, back to a manual. Another way of doing things is not to tear things out, but to make a photocopy of just the instructions you need at a particular time. And in a sense, that's what happens in living cells. The genes that are switched on, those that are going to be used, are copied. That is, the information in them is copied to make a copy called messenger RNA.